Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Uh, selamat petang. Uh, <coughs> Today we will do some exercises on uh, heat exchanger, which uh, what I will cover on exercise on LMTD log mean temperature difference, and the other one is for effectiveness NTU. Okay, special. Uh, uh, for heat exchanger topic, okay, special for heat exchanger topic. Uh, the first question today, let me read it for you. Uh, I collect this question from uh, from Yunus Chengel book Heat and Mass Transfer. So, <coughs> a single pass cross flow heat exchanger with both fluid in unmixed as water entering 16 degrees Celsius and exiting at 33 degrees Celsius okay and while oil has uh, properties as shown there heat uh, capacity of 1.93 kJ uh, over kgk and the density of 870 kg per meter cube flowing at uh, 0 0.19 meter cube per minute enter uh, at 38 uh, sorry 38 degrees celsius and exit at 29 degrees celsius if the surface area of the heat exchanger given is 20 meter square calculate uh, the value of the overall heat transfer coefficient okay this is the, the, the problem uh, that we will uh, do today. <coughs> First of all, if you see this kind of problem, you have to uh, you have to uh, sketch a simplify a simplified heat exchanger that you understand from the question. Okay. Uh, for example, like this. The question given you uh, a, a, a general figure of that so you have to just uh, simplify uh, to make your better understanding on it so <coughs> the oil flow here from left to right is a temperature inlet inlet temperature Uh, 38 degrees Celsius T of L equal to 29 degrees Celsius while uh, the water from the back enter the tube at 60 degrees Celsius if I'm not mistaken yes 60 degrees Celsius and leaving the tube for 3, 33 degrees Celsius. So, given that the surface area of the heat exchanger is 20 meter cube, and the CP and the rho is there for oil, and the last one flowing at uh, this one. This is volume flow rate meter cube is volume right with the uh, per minute so it is rate volume flow rate so v dot equal to 0 0.19 meter cube per minute okay so find find u we know that uh, before before we proceed this question uh, actually this question I collect from the subsection of log mean temperature difference so I know this uh, type of question uh, we can solve using log mean temperature difference okay so uh, for log mean temperature difference we can solve uh, uh, for overall heat transfer overall heat transfer coefficient using this equation right q equal to uh, u uh, 
surface area and and delta temperature log mean log mean temperature different log mean temperature difference okay so we want to find the u there u here we want to find this u which is overall heat transfer coefficient from the question itself what we understand that it is a cross flow not a counter flow not the parallel flow so it is a cross flow when it is a cross flow we have to modify this basic equation okay we have to modify this basic equation we must add a correction factor here with f okay so the the, the equation that we will use let uh, in this in this problem is u times surface area time correction factor time log mean temperature difference okay log mean temperature difference so if we rearrange this equation uh, sorry let me make it uh, space to the side if we rearrange this uh, equation uh, u equal to because we want to find u right u equal to uh, q heat transfer divided by surface area correction factor and the delta t lm okay we know as we have a as uh, we don't have a q here we don't have q we can find delta t lm here we also can find the f so uh, the first thing first we have to solve for the q at the top there q we know that q equal to q equal to m dot mass flow rate times cp of that fluid and times temperature difference uh, uh, temperature high minus temperature low okay q equal to cp temperature high minus temperature low for example here okay we want to find q q so <coughs> uh, there is two there is four four temperature uh, 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 in this in this uh, problem there is four temperature in this problem uh, we have uh, oil temperature inlet and outlet and we have a uh, water temperature outlet, inlet and outlet also so which one we have to use we have to use to find the q the heat transfer basically uh, you can use either one okay basically you can use either one if you want to use the oil flow so you must take uh, temperature of the oil in uh, inlet and temperature of the oil for outlet if you want to use temperature of water you need to use a water inlet and water outlet temperature okay don't mix it up because the q uh, later on will be the same okay will be the same okay so in this case uh, because of <coughs> we have or uh, the, the question given us the volume flow rate of the oil so we will use the oil temperature here the oil temperature for this one and this one okay we will use uh, oil temperature so we have to find uh, m dot because cp is given so m dot is not given we have to find that uh, with the formula of m dot equal to rho time volume flow rate we have a rho they are given me uh, they are giving us a rho 787 kilogram meter cube times uh, volume flow rate 0 0.9 uh, 
but the volume flow rate given to us is in meter cube per minute we have to use uh, a basic unit of uh, a, a second basic unit of time sorry basic unit of time is second so we have to use or we have to time 60 to have a uh, second length okay meter cube of a minute times uh, one minute equal to uh, 60 seconds not times uh, divide by 60 seconds okay so from, from that so we have uh, 2.7 five, 5 kilogram per second that is our mass flow rate then we can find uh, heat transfer Q so the Q is 2.755 times what is our CP given 1.93 1.93 1.93 power of 3 because this is kilojoule and then temperature temperature for the oil 38 minus 29 so you uh, you have uh, 47 point eight five kilowatt okay that's your uh, heat transfer heat transfer uh, you have a Q now you have a Q now here yeah? back to the basic formula that we want that we are looking for we have a Q now then we have to find F this F and Delta TLM we know that Delta TLM is equal to Delta TLM TLM equal to Delta T1 temperature different in 1 minus the temperature different at 2 and divided by uh, normal logarithmic Delta T1 divided by Delta T2 then we can get uh, uh, log mean temperature difference okay so the delta t1 is delta t1 is 38 minus 33 delta t2 is 29 minus 16 okay this is 5 and this is 13 right so if you simplify the delta T L M you got 8.8 seven sorry three to seven three seven two degrees celsius okay that's log mean temperature difference there is log mean temperature difference sorry and for the f correction factor for the correction factor we know that we have to find a P and R so we know that P according to the formula is T2 small t2 minus small t1 divided by uh, capital T1 minus T small t1 okay so uh, if you if you wonder what is T1, capital T1, what is uh, small T1, what is uh, 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 capital T2, what is small T2, uh, T, capital T, 
we can uh, say that this is uh, a temperature for hot uh, fluid temperature for the hot fluid this is temperature for the cold fluid small letter okay uh, so uh, if you put all that temperature in the perspective of p and r you can find uh, p is 0 0.77 while the r according to the formula uh, t capital t1 minus capital t2 divided by uh, small t2 minus t1 equal to 0 0.53 so we can look at this uh, 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 correction factor graph okay we know that our p is 0 0.77 0 0.77 uh, this is 0 0.5 this is 0 0.6 this 0 0.7 this is 0 0.8 so this is 0. Point, uh, in the middle between 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 is 0 0.0 sorry 0 0.75 so 0 0.77 it is in between there here estimated just like that okay in middle and our r is 0 0.53 in between there this is 0 0.2 line blue line here uh, 0 0.4 0 0.6 uh, in between 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 there is 0 0.53 here so your correction factor it is around 0 0.88 something uh, more than 0 0.85 right it is more than 0 0.85 approximately okay because here is 0 0.85 so your, your answer of correction factor for the P of uh, 0. Point, let me write here for you so you can easily uh, refer 0. 0.77 P and the R 0. 0.53 and R 0. 0.53 so it is in between there between this line and this line and for the R, it is between this line and this line. So if we find the cross section of that, it is in uh, the correction factor, it is around 0 0.85 and above before 0 0.9. Okay, so you can select any number for that. So if I'm with you, I will put 0 0.88. Okay, 0 0.88. So, uh, finally, you can find the, the the overall heat transfer coefficient, right? Because you, you have everything. 47, 0 0.85, divided by 20, the surface area, times the correction factor, 0 0.88, times temperature, uh, uh, log mean temperature. What we, uh, what our log mean temperature just now? Uh, here. Eight point three seven two. So finally, you can have the overall heat transfer coefficient. This sorry six meter squared. Okay. If you can have. If you don't uh, exactly have the value like this, consider me uh, some uh, 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 tolerance in the in the presentation. Day, okay. So this is your overall heat transfer coefficient. Settle with that. Settle with uh, uh, exercise on log mean temperature different exercise on log mean temperature difference okay or with the symbol of delta t lm okay 
So you can expect if you have a test or uh, a quiz or a final exam, the uh, the question will be uh, from bottom to top. Okay, the question is from bottom to top, not from top to bottom. This is from top to bottom, top to bottom. So you can expect that if you have a question in the final exam or in the test or in the quiz or in assignment, so the question will be uh, from bottom to top. Okay. Let's go with the next uh, uh, question, which is I collect from the same book uh, for the subsection of uh, effectiveness and TU in heat exchanger chapter. Okay. Uh, the question here on eleven point nine seven. Let me read it for you. The water with the constant heat. Uh, 4.81 kilojoule of kgk is to be heated by solar heated hot air in a double pipe counter flow that is important uh, 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 information there double pipe counter flow heat exchanger okay and enter uh, the heat exchanger at 90 degree at the rate of 0 0.3 kilogram per second and while the water enter at 22 degrees Celsius at the rate of 0 0.1 kilogram per second the overall heat transfer coefficient based on inner side of the tube is given by 80 watt per meter cube sorry meter square k and the length of tube is 12 meter while the diameter is 1.2 centimeter calculate the question asked to calculate the outlet temperature of the water and the air okay uh, for uh, for this question the, the 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 question didn't give us any figure to understand the question properly okay so if you come uh, with this kind of problem the first thing first you need to do is to sketch the simplified version of your understanding of the question okay uh, okay from this figure we uh, fr from this th this statement we can understand that it is a heat exchanger of a double pipe counter flow okay this is a simple sketching of that double pipe counter flow we know that uh, uh, this could be the inlet of the tube this is outlet of the tube and this is the uh, the inlet of the shell and this is the outlet of the shell okay so the diameter of the tube is 1.2 cm 1.2 cm uh, we also know that the temperature of air enter the heat exchanger at 90 degree while the water at 20 degree at the rate of 0 0.1 kg per second And the U is 80. The water is to be heated, so the water is inside. Oh, cold water. The water is to be heated. It could be either way, no problem. Okay? It could be either way, no problem. But I prefer to pour it at the outside water. So the inlet of the water, if it's the water at the shell, is 22 degrees Celsius and leaving, don't know, uh, this is 22 degrees Celsius. While it enter, and the, the hot air enter, the hot air enter, 
where's the temperature? Where are the 90 degrees Celsius? While living, we don't know. Okay. Uh, what else information can... Uh, uh, this is also, we know that. This is M dot of while the water and the rate 0 0.1. 0 0.1 and this dot is equal to zero point three dot. So find the temperature find the temperature outlet sini temperature O temperature O temperature Sorry, temperature O oh, for for oil. No, I don't have any for A. A. This is water for water. Okay. Uh, since this is NTU effectiveness method, effectiveness NTU method, so we know the basic uh, 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 equation of effectiveness NTU is effectiveness, uh, it is equal to Q divided by Q max. Okay, Q max. And the Q over here, top there, could be, not could be, it is supposed to be Q equal to M dot CP of either fluid T high minus T lower. Okay. So, if you want uh, to find the temperature of air here temperature of air here so you need to use CP of the air and the M dot for the air so then you can find the T outlet here because you have a T inlet here 90 degree okay so the problem is you don't have a Q here the problem is you don't have a Q uh, while we can find the Q from rotating this formula okay Q dot equal to uh, effectiveness NTU times Q max we know that's Q max Q max, sorry, max, uh, what is this? Max equal to C max sorry, not C max, C min C minimum times th in th dollar minus th th minus th t hot no t inlet minus t inlet t inlet minus t inlet this is inlet for high temperature this is inlet for low temperature okay the inlet minus t inlet so from this case uh, we know that this t inlet with the high temperature it is 90 degree and the t inlet with low temperature it is 22 degree so uh, the c mean where it's come from c mean c mean it is mm, m dot 
and CP mean not CP CP lah C max also from M dot CP but which CP and which uh, M dot it is max and minimum so you have to try one by one why I say like that uh, let through this problem don't worry here let me scroll this one to the next page please sorry uh, we know that C uh, equal to M dot CP uh, let put here as uh, unmix sorry let me sketch it again with the space at the top this is supposed to be unmix and it is water so we we not uh, 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 in dilemma after that okay we not in the confusing and mix it and see m dot times cp the m dot is there for here is the other one 22 degrees for water right water 0 0.1 so the water is cp for one zero so uh, and mix also and for the air so the C equal to M dot C is the same formula M dot is 0 0.3 and another CP is 10 10 so if you uh, solve that CP as uh, so the heat rate C is the heat rate you solve between that the first for water is four one eight what degree C and this is three hundred and three what degree C so we can know that this is minimum C minimum and this is C max Okay, this is C max. Okay, so we can find the Q max, right? It's easy like that. So we can find the Q max. By using this formula. By using this formula, Q max. This formula. So Q max equal to C minimum 303. Uh, T inlet maximum, T inlet maximum is 90 uh, minus the T inlet minimum 22. So you can have a Q max which is 20 1604 uh, kilowatt for a Q max. While uh, heat ratio, the heat rate ratio, which is C equal to C minimum divided by C maximum. Uh, C minimum, what? 303 and 0.8. So, the answer is the 0.7. To five. Uh, so what else do we need in order to find our Q there? We need the effective. Yes, we need the effective. Effective formula. Later on, we will use DC. Later on, we will use DC. No problem. We want to find the effective of uh, 
this is heat heat exchanger of this heat exchanger effective there is two ways uh, either you can use the graph here or uh, or the formula itself okay if you want to use the formula you can uh, refer to the table there is formula there uh, which referring to uh, 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 if you look let me write it for you the formula it's long one where uh, effectiveness or e equal to 1 minus uh, exponent times minus n t u uh, multiply 1 minus c close uh, 1 divided over 1 minus c okay c time exponent times the dot the exponent times uh, minus NTU let me see 1 minus C so you can find the effectiveness of the heat exchanger okay if you want to use the formula but it is better to use the formula because you have you will be suffer you will be suffer to using the graph if you look at the NTU NTU graph given in, in the book you need to find this NTU first in order you to you to use this kind of graph okay let me uh, simplify it for you what is NTU NTU with the formula of uh, U overall heat coefficient times the surface area divide by heat rate minimum C minimum okay so the A is surface air the surface temperature final taken it's given right no it is not you have to find it but it's easy to find uh, surface temperature by DL by DL by D you can find you can have a, a, a parameter of, of the tube and times the L you can find the surface temperature so it's surface area so pi the D is diameter of the tube uh, 12 centimeter right Sorry, 1.2, not 12. Minus 2 times L. What is your L? Diameter, not diameter, 12 meter. So your surface area is 0 0.11. No, 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 sorry. 0 0.45 meter square. Okay. Zero point four five meter square. So your NTU, your NTU is uh, U is eighty in the question, and your surface area is zero point four five. While your C minimum just now is three hundred and three. So your NTU is zero point nine one one nine. Okay, from this. NTU value and the effectiveness value, not the effectiveness, the C ratio 0.725. Here you can find the effectiveness. Here, uh, this is for example, this is 1, 2, and 3. So, our question or our heat exchanger, the NTU is 0.119 approximately 0 0.12 lah. so 0 0.12 it is the, uh, very difficult there it is very difficult there while your C rate or oh, rate capacity rate uh, is 0 0.725 uh, 
no problem because it is uh, it is coincident with the one line uh, so we have to prolong this line to find where it is intersect so that is your effectiveness so what is that value it's very difficult right so it is rather to use this formula you have a C you have a C put it there you have uh, NTU put it there and you can find the effectiveness easily using the formula okay using the formula but be bear that and the formula is correct if you look at the formula in the table there's a lot of formula of effectiveness using uh, NTU method so you have to select the correct uh, a, a formula in order to find the effectiveness okay so if you solve this equation with uh, some value correct value so your effectiveness would be your effectiveness would be 0 0.1 0 0.8 0 0.1 0 0.8 kalau in the in the in the graph itself it is uh, yeah it is between there lah 0 0.8 percent this is in percent right so this is 0 0.8 percent in between there okay 0 0.8 percent so uh, you can find the q finally you can find the q here the q here okay finally you can find the q so the q dot equal to the q dot equal to uh, 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 times q max so this is 0 0.108 your q max just now is 20 4 power of 3 resulting of 22.225 kilowatt so you can find easily the temperature in the sorry the, te the the outlet temperature of the water and the outlet temperature of the hot air okay by using the formula that are given to you at the top there using this formula okay to simplify that because the C just now we are calculating here the C M C P here C M C P here it is that here so you can replace that value so you don't have to calculate twice okay so the C for code uh, uh, a fluid T uh, code fluid out mana yang tinggi lah mana uh, uh, which one is the highest temperature highest temperature minus temperature with lowest temperature okay for example for the code fluid uh, water there you have a C max of 4818 we want to find this T maximum minus 20 because this is in the inlet this is the outlet say the q there q there we put 2.225 kilowatt okay kilowatt so you can find that the outlet for the water is 27 by seven point 7.3 degree celsius while the other one is uh, 2.225 
times 10 power of 3 equal to uh, 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 3 or 3 3 90 90 minus t right so you can find that t lowest or t hot air is it around 80 sorry 82 82.7 degrees celsius that's it that's it so if you come back to the question there, the uh, the hot air leaving the heat exchanger is 87, sorry, 82, 7 degrees Celsius, while the water leaving the heat exchanger for 27 degrees Celsius, 27.3 degrees Celsius. Okay, it is enter around 22 degrees Celsius and leaving at 27.3 degrees Celsius. While the water, sorry, while the air enter the heat exchanger for 90 degrees Celsius and leaving at 82.7 degrees Celsius. Okay, of that, uh, you can answer the question later on if, the, if, if I giving you any problem with that. So any question you, you may ask me through WhatsApp or Google Classroom because this is I will upload through Google Classroom. Hope it is help you. Thank you again. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh.